And as I sat and I prepared for this, I was talking to your leadership team, I had the privilege of speaking with your CEO, getting to know more of your company um, through Dave, and of course I Googled you all as well. And there was stuff that kind of kept coming up, and they kept saying, you know, these are some of the best people I've ever worked with. We've been through a lot lately, mergers and acquisitions and new teams and you know, reorgs and changes, but they still are putting out some of the best performance, even in these really difficult and chaotic times. And we even had you know, some of our best you know, achievements last year on paper, let alone these are the best people. And over and over and over, this term, the best, kept coming up. And it's interesting because people look at me and they go, well, you were a fighter pilot for 21 years, you were a Thunderbird pilot, Dang, you were a woman Thunderbird pilot. Like, they asked me, Nicole, what's it like to be the best? And I look at them and I laugh and I laugh because I, Nicole Malakowski, have never been the best at anything I have ever done individually. But I have been a part of some of the very best teams. And that's really what I want to talk to you about today. I found over time that these best elite performing teams that I was a part of had a certain mindset. And it's what I like to call the pushing the envelope mindset, which comes with some characteristics and traits. Big picture though, I'm gonna share some stories today from my career in hopes that you are given maybe a slightly different lens to look through your own opportunities and challenges that you have personally and professionally because of the pandemic and just because of changes within your company as well as to the industry writ large, okay? So what does this pushing the envelope mindset look like? Now before I do that, I wanna show you this picture. This is my plane. Yeah, take a look at that. She's a beautiful thing, right? All right, this is the mighty F-15 East Strike Eagle, the aircraft I flew for the majority of my career. I flew in three operational fighter squadrons. I had the privilege of commanding a fighter squadron of F-15Es. This is the plane that carried me and my friends safely in and out of combat more times than I can count. She is a beast, and yes, it's a she, okay? <laughs> okay, now, <laughs> Yeah, it's okay, I like to clap for that too, you know? It's good to be the queen. Uh, I'll tell you what, <laughs> pushing the envelope though, you've all heard this term. It comes from aviation. This doesn't surprise any of you. It's all about taking the aircraft to its max capabilities. It's all about maximum performance. And when I talk about the pushing the envelope mindset, I want you to see yourself as this aircraft. I want you to see your team, the people in this room, as this aircraft, and your company writ large as this aircraft. The question is, are you bringing the best of yourself to work every day? And as teammates and colleagues, are you creating a culture individually, right, where everybody can bring the best of themselves to work every single day? Now let me tell you a little bit more about that F-15 e Strike Eagle, my first love, if you will. She's capable of flying upwards of 50,000 feet. Pretty cool. She's capable of pulling nine times the force of gravity, not bad, all right? and she can fly twice the speed of sound. Pretty impressive capabilities, right? $65 million a pop, pretty nice piece of technology. The single greatest honor I had in my career was not flying as a Thunderbird and was not working in the White House, all right? It was teaching young lieutenants, new pilots, how to fly this aircraft, taking them up on their very first flight. Their little eyes really wide, their voice quakering, right? Shaking a little bit. It's amazing, I was there. But to be able to teach over 100 young lieutenants and pilots how to fly this plane was the honor of a lifetime. And every time I would take them on their first flight, I'd get them safely away from the ground. We'd fly out to the training airspace. I'd say, you have the aircraft. They'd grab the stick, they'd shake it, and they'd say, I have the aircraft. And all of a sudden, they would take that beautiful F-15E and they would fly her. And every single one of them did this, including me when I was a lieutenant. They would fly her at 20,000 feet, 250 miles an hour, pulling two Gs. Yeah, like what a waste. <laughs> Whoa, like let her rip, let's go. What a waste of amazing technology, right? It was my job to teach them how to employ that to the edge of that envelope, to maximum capabilities. And it's your job to come into work every day and to create an environment for yourself and each other that everybody can max perform your unique strengths and your unique skill sets, okay?